Friends, I am going to read the story about Oli and the Trainers. Chapter 1 How Oli had no trainers Once upon a time, not so long ago, there was a boy called Oliver Frog. Oli was convented sort of sh cheap sharp expect for except for two things thing one olive had no olive have no tenors thing two Oli couldn't read words can't you read yet ali kia gribble laughed ali kia gribble can't be brothered more like even babies the babies in fact can read in fans can read but first the trainers some mornings Oli felt that he was the only person in the whole world didn't have, who didn't have a decent pet in the playground there was arches, apaches, gladiators, ice and thunder zaps. There were desert, desert snakes and shadows. There were wombats, hercules and night tigers. Only knew the names by heart even though he couldn't read them. Oli's own shoes had no name on them. He wore a pair of black, old black lace-ups with thin soles, worn down heels and split sides. Oli looked in a corner of the playground so that nobody would see him but Alicia Gribble came by. She saw him <laughs> look at Oli Frog. She crowded. What stupid shoes like pair of rotten boots? Alicia Alicia had a new pair of the set snakes. She was a show off. Then had cost her mother a proper packet. No one, nobody wears a cropper like that anymore. She laughed. Show off you, Oli said, Oli. Li Ling came over. Didn't take any notice. Don't take any notice of her, he said. Li Ling was Oli's friend. He never laughed at Oli. At that moment, the whistle went. It was time to go in.